talking about, oh, oh, Duke, Duke is horrible. All oh, the humanity. You wouldn't believe what happened to Fresh and Fit. You would not believe what happened to Fresh and Fit. I'm like, yo, 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 tell me, tell me, yo, yo, chill, 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 bro, chill. What the fuck's going on with Fresh and Fit? They got taken off of Twitch. They got taken off of Twitch. They got then the stream got taken down or, or YouTube. I don't know. They were it was streaming one minute and then it went down. You gotta cover it because no one else is talking about this dude. We gotta figure this out. Like what is going on, right? And I'm like, nah, this can't be real. This, this cannot be real. We mean it got taken off of YouTube or they're suspended. There's gotta be there's gotta be some craziness to it, right? Because I mean, surely people will be talking about this, right? I mean, <laughs> so we, we did a little bit of digging. Uh, uh so those of you guys in the chat, shout out to self-made, right? We did a little bit of research to try to find out what was going on, right? What's good, authentic fam? It's your boy. Allende coming to you real quick from Authentic Alphas. And um, we ain't going to have an authentic conversation, man. Yeah, this ain't going to be long at all. I'm actually about to just give my opinion on Fresh and Fit, so-called being canceled or suspended. But, yeah, man, you know, a lot of people hit me up like, yo, you heard about Fresh and Fit? I'm like, not really because, I, I mean... I, I honestly stopped following Fresh and Fit when I was still with them. They, they shit just is redundant. They haven't said anything in 2022 that they didn't say last year. But anyway, so a lot of people telling me that they got canceled or suspended off of YouTube and flagged on Twitch or something like that. Like, I don't need to read too much into the details. I know my boy Duke is talking about it right now on Duke and Dawn. So I'm pretty sure he got all the details or as much details as he could, uh, you know, come up with at this point. And I'm sure more information will come out or whatever, but I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. I'm going to keep it a stack. I know Myron. This motherfucker is a liar, a cheater, a thief. I don't believe for one minute <laughs> that they're suspended or canceled off of YouTube. Now, I hope that that wouldn't have been the case because that's not good for any of us as content creators. So even though he's hacked my Instagram several times because he knows that's my main source of income, he also knows that's how I get the females to book. So basically, he sabotaged my channel in every way that he could. He's tried uh, very hard to prevent me from getting females to interview because... He knows he can't compete with me if I had the resources that he had. There's no way that Myron can out-interview me. He's, he can't outdo me in my own shit. This is my shit, right? So he, he doing what he's doing with it. You know, thieves can prevail for so long. Cheaters can prevail for, for so long. But the man has, has gone to great lengths to try to starve me out and shut my shit down. And that's cool. I mean, you got to have a champion spirit. And there's always going to be somebody trying to throw a monkey wrench in your shit. So that's cool. But I still wouldn't wish that on him. Like, I never would have thought, oh, let me pay someone to hack his Instagram, even though his Instagram is of no relevance. But I wouldn't be, like, telling people to go report his channel to get his channel taken down. I wouldn't be um, filing fraudulent claims or whatever to try to get his shit shut down. Like, I wouldn't do any of that sneaky underhanded bullshit. I would just like come to a nigga crib and like invite him to a fair fight. I don't know, that's just how I was raised. You know, I thought that's what men did, but um, so yeah, I wouldn't wish that bullshit on anybody. And of course you gotta be some type of hypocrite to try to silence other people and not expect it to happen to you. I mean, it, you know, what the fuck? Um, but in any event, I want y'all to think a little bit bigger than this. Like I said, I, I, I know these dudes and I know how Myron thinks and what I think is happening, what I suspect is that they've gotten their channel to 578,000 subs, um, doing a lot of bullshit in the back door. There's a lot of sneaky shit they do in the back, you know, the whole streaming on Twitch and YouTube at the same time, paying for subs, you know, having a, a fraudulent ass Reddit with somebody running it and acting like you ain't got nothing to do with it, writing articles on yourself, fresh, you know, having fake press releases and, and, and fake jets and all, you know, like, like they, do, they, they do a bunch of fake ass shit over there. You know what I'm saying? They, they, got the, they earned the name fake and fraud. Um, but what I suspect is happening, f follow me on this, because this is some Myron type shit. And remember, this is not someone speculating. This is somebody that was like sitting in these meetings with these guys and how they think and how they're constantly trying to manipulate and, and um, scam their subscribers. That's why it kills me how these like, Fresh and Fit fans are so loyal 
And like when I used to say certain things, they'd be like, I'm hating all of that. It's like, dude, like I was, I was there having these conversations with them while they're planning and, and strategizing. They don't care about their subs. And in fact, Myron actually resents and despises his subs the same way he does women. He thinks that y'all are pathetic. Like, these are his words, bro. He thinks you guys are a bunch of losers, a bunch of desperate losers just ripe for the picking. And their strategy is to scam these dudes and take advantage of their desperation the same way that OnlyFans girls do. That's why I compare him to an OnlyFans girl, because they have the exact same mentality. These guys are desperate. These guys are, are lonely. These guys are incels, whatever names you want to call them. That's what they think of their subs, bro. Just keeping it real, all right? Um, but this is what I suspect that, that they're doing. And I'm, I'd be willing to put some good money on it. What Myron is saying to himself is, all right, so we got, we got 578,000 subs, but we have it on a free platform. Yes, they're getting their ad set. No shit. Yes, they're getting super chat money. Duh, because you dumbass fresh and fit fans keep giving them money, just like you do OnlyFans girls. Um, but when you look at the number of the subscribers on YouTube and Twitch, which are both, you know, platforms where, where, where they're, not, they're not behind a paywall. And then you look at what their subscriber count is on Patreon. So what Myron is doing is he's pretending as if the channel is canceled or suspended or whatever because he knows that his fan base is addicted. His fan base just needs to get their hit of, uh, you know, fresh and fit nonsense. You know, they want to see the girls, obviously. Um, whether there's drama or not, guys are going to tune in for those girls religiously because, like I just stated earlier, their fan base is made up of mostly lonely losers that don't have girls of their own. Again, these are facts, bro. If these guys had their own girls, they wouldn't be home in front of the screen watching all of these episodes live. They'd be, like, with their girl. <laughs> all right? This is why a lot of times, even when I was with them, I couldn't, like, watch the show because I was, like, you know, entertaining women. Like, I was with women. So... You got a girl, you're getting laid, you don't got time to be watching Fresh and Fit live every damn episode. So what Myron is saying to himself is like, listen, these guys are watching this shit religiously. These guys are hooked, right? It's like, it's like opium to these guys. But how many of these guys are actually paying for the content? Very few, but yet they are addicted. If you get someone addicted to something at a low price point or for free, and then you remove that option, what does an addict do? They're willing to pay more. Okay, crackheads will sell their mama TV, okay, to get some more crack if they're out of crack. So what I suspect these guys are doing, <laughs> they're just pretending, bro. They're just pretending to get, to get, to get um, suspended or blocked or canceled or whatever so that all these thirsty ass fresh and fit uh, uh, stands are like, okay, it's been a day or two. I haven't gotten to see any new content from fresh and fit. Let me just go ahead over to Patreon and sup. Now let's just do some simple math. Let's lowball. 500,000 subscribers, right? Let's just say only 10%, right? 10 per, not even 10%. Let's just say 10,000, okay? 10,000 is less than, 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 um, than 10% of, uh, <laughs> of 500,000. Let's just say 10% of their subs that are not subscribed to Patreon, decide to go over to Patreon and subscribe so that they can get their hit of fresh and fit, you do realize that's 200K in a month. So even if these people just subscribe to Patreon for one month at $20, and I don't even know how much the Patreon is right now, but I know it was like $20. When I was around, it was like 20 bucks. So let's just say 10,000 subscribers decided, all right, I want to see some fresh and fit. I'm willing to pay 20 bucks a month to see some fresh and fit on Patreon. That's 20K in one month. So even if those guys subscribed and then the channel came back on and they unsubscribed to Patreon, they would have made 200K in a month. All I'm saying, guys, don't fall for anything that Fresh and Fit say, okay? They are the most lionish ass niggas I've ever experienced in my life. And that's saying a lot. <laughs> These dudes will lie about any damn thing, anything they will lie to you about. So anyway, I just wanted to say that. I'm up out of here. God bless them. Because uh, karma is a bitch, and eventually they're going to get theirs. And the damn sure ain't going to be being suspended off of YouTube for a, for a few days. All right, When they get their karma, it's going to be a hell of a lot worse than that. But um, don't be fooled. These guys are running more scams. And I, hey, I don't even mad at them because 
I can't say that it's not a, an excellent idea. I'm not saying that I would put it past anybody. 200K in one month, <laughs> that's good money for even a millionaire. Even a millionaire, 200K in one month is good money. So, hey, I can't be mad at them, but remember I told you first, if something comes out later and we find out that they was just faking it, hey, that's where my money is at. Myron is strategizing right now. He is lying to everybody and claiming that he's been suspended, that he's been taken off of YouTube temporarily just to get you dumbass, fresh and fit fanboys, you dick riding, nutsack hugging, excuse making, daddy needing ass little bastards to go ahead and go subscribe, just like an OnlyFans chick would scam the hell out of you for that, that month, that month uh, subscription. That's what these guys are doing. So go over there and pay your 20, 30, 25, whatever the hell they're charging for their Patreon. Go over, here, go over there and pay for that content because Myron is money hungry and he don't give a shit about none of his subs or helping men of any age whatsoever. That whole round table is a bunch of scammers. Modern Life Dating, Rolo Tomasi, Donovan, Myron Fresh, they're all a bunch of scam artists. All right, I said it, so what? I'm out of here, peace. Right. So we're going to go over because I'm like, no, nah, this ain't right. So I go over to the Fresh and Fit channel. Right? I'm like, All right, let's go check them out. Let's go see what they're talking about. If the post or whatever it is really got taken down. Right. So I'm there and I'm going to share this with y'all real quick because it, I, I, oh, I, I found this pretty interesting about what I, I came across on their page here. Right. So as we get here to the Fresh and Fit YouTube channel. Right. Okay. So we come in. I'm like, all right. So everything, you know, looks normal. Nothing looks out of the ordinary. Everything looks in place. Right. These guys are, you know, they're still doing their thing. Their numbers are going up. Well, you know, thanks to them. Their the spirit bomb challenge is doing well. You guys don't forget the special fit spirit bomb challenge. Right. They keep extending the date. But hey, listen. You subscribe now. You get a chance to win a free Rolex and a free trip to uh, Miami to sit with the Fresh and Fit podcast crew. Hey, listen. Any you guys do uh, 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 Fresh and Fit stands at the building to figure out what the story's going on. You can go over there. You can sign up and do it. Not set you. Okay. But. This account's getting up there, and everything's, uh, you know, looking, you know, in place, right? So then I'm like, okay, so what in the hell is going on, right? So usually when you're trying to figure something out that's happening to a channel, you got you to gotta, you gotta do a little bit of digging. The first place you start is the community tab, right? Because the community tab is a place for, you know, not, not so much deep content, but content in which you can, you know, you know figure out what's going on and keep your, uh, your community up to date. And what the only content I saw that they had that was most recent was this right here. You know, it was posted nine days ago. All right, says, guys, we're taking tonight off. Today is Pastor Myron's birthday. Go wish him love on his page at Unplugged Fit. First of all, I thought your page was fed it. I don't, I don't know what's happening here. Oh, oh, you mean your Instagram. Okay. Uh, well, listen. So I'm like, all right, that was nine days ago. Uh, we don't have any updates. All right, that's fine. That's fine. That doesn't mean anything. Let's let's go take a look at the most recent uploads because we know that Fresh and Fit, they're damn near daily uploaders. If they're not uploading uh, podcasts, uh, shows, they're uploading podcast clips. If they're not uploading that, they're uploading YouTube shorts. So they're definitely hard workers, and they take advantage of the system to get them views, right? So surely they have posted something recently, and if they posted something recently, well, then we would know that whatever anyone was saying about, you know, them being banned off of Twitch's cat, because that was the first place I checked. I looked, and their account was still there, right? Just like I checked YouTube, and their account was still there. But then again, as I started to dig a little deeper, things started to get a little fishy, people. Things, <laughs> they were getting real fishy. So I go over to the videos, knowing they're fresh and fit, they're daily uploaders. I come in, and I see that their last post was three days ago. Holy shit, <laughs> three days ago? Wait a minute, wait a minute. The last community post you put up was nine days ago. Okay, I get it. You're taking time off for your birthday or whatever it is, Pastor uh, Pastor Poppy Don, or no, no I'm sorry, Pastor uh, Myron Gaines. Um, so you, you guys taking your time off and you're doing that, right? Um, okay, that's nine days ago. Take a couple of days off. You deserve a champ, right? But then I go over to your videos and the most recent one has been uploaded three days ago. That's when uh, the red flag started to go up in my head. Oh, hell no. I'm like, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold, hold, hold the fucking French toast door. You mean to tell me we don't have no clips? We don't have no goddamn shorts and no new podcast videos uploaded since three days? Yo, 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 whoa, 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 what's happening? What is, uh, what, uh, now I'm confused. Now I'm confused. Now I got even I got even further confused, guys. I got even further confused because then I go on their Twitch, right? Cause I'm like, no, 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 they're overdue for a for a show today, right? I mean, I'm looking I'm looking at their schedule right now, right? Let me pull that back up. I I'm looking at their schedule right now, and the schedule says five nights a week. They stream five nights a week. I'm I'm looking at it right now, 10:30 p.m. Eastern time, seven. 
So I'm like, okay, so tonight's a night, and they should be streaming, but there's nothing. I'm confused now, guys. I'm actually kind of getting scared. Like, who do you call when the FBI is in trouble? Right? Who do you call when someone like Myron is nowhere to be found? Because, guys, I'm going to just let you know. Look, look at this. Look at the last YouTube short they uploaded, right? Look at the last YouTube shorts, right? So if they're not if they're not uploading podcasts, if they're not uploading shorts, they're at least uploading, you know, something, but nothing for three days. Something's wrong. So then, so then I, I'm like, all right, well, okay, fine. Let's go to the Fresh and Fit Clips channel, right? Because, I, okay, maybe they don't want to post the clips here. All right, you got me. You got me. Okay, maybe maybe that you want to save the clips and the shorter videos. Maybe it's some new uh, marketing strategy that, you know, the Homeland Security guys taught you that we don't know. But there's something there, right? Because y'all are growing. So I'm looking at this. And I'm like, all right, cool, cool, cool. Let's check the community. Whoa, 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 whoa. The last time y'all posted on this tab was a year ago. A whole 12 months. Okay, guys, I'm worried. Guys, guys, I am worried. As their number one cloud chaser, I am worried. Because what's going on? If they're not going to be on YouTube, who are we going to laugh at? Who are we going to clown? What are the, we need Rolo's disciples. We, we need their babies. We, we, what, what, what's going on? I'm confused, y'all. I'm very confused. So then I'm like, all right, cool, cool, cool. It's the community tab, dude. It's the community tab. Play it. Just relax. Relax, okay? Let's go ahead and check their most recent upload and see if, you know, something's there, right? They must have done something. I mean, these are two hardworking men, right? They, they, they can make it happen. So let's go ahead and check it out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, uh well, wait a minute. <laughs> wait wait a goddamn minute. You Three days ago? Three days? Three, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta, we gotta, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because if I, if I go back here, if I go back here, if we go back, it seems like their main channel, the last time they posted was three days ago. It's almost as they got just, they got stopped, taken off the system, right? And, and now, <laughs> As the number one cloud chaser, I'm starting to get worried, y'all. <laughs> oh, hell no. I'm losing my mind. Because, because, because now, because now, I, I can't get shit off their clips. I can get shit off their, their main channel. So now, we got to figure out what's going on with the Fresh and Fit Boys. Fellas, we got to figure out what's going on because there is trouble at miss. So we did a little bit more digging. Shout out to you, self-made. <laughs> we did a little bit more digging to try to figure out what in the hell is going on. And uh, we, we came across this little gem. I uh, sort of kind of explained it all, and I'll, I'll pull this up in just a second here because I find this incredibly fascinating that this happened. And uh, in addition to this happening, we still kind of really need a reason why it happened because there's a serious conversation that kind of needs to be had. So we will show you what was found because I'm going to tell you this. They're streaming right now. It's just not on YouTube, right? So that's another big red flag. I'm just like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it, it, it's a Thursday, Friday. And they're not, they're not, they're not streaming. Wait, wait, you, 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 they're streaming on Twitch. Why, are, why wouldn't they want to stream on YouTube? Unless, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to a fresher podcast. We got Donovan Sharp in the house and Devin as well, and yep. as well as five lovely ladies. So, uh, guys, quick announcement before we get into the show number one, patreon.com slash fresh fit, as you guys can see cancel culture is real so you guys gotta be able to check us out uncensored on patreon.com slash fresh what does he mean by that who can who canceled you we, we thought you guys were doing so good who canceled you? you you were just with britney renner you were just with, with, with asian door you were just with with with, uh, with, with tommy sotomayor <laughs> you were just on flagrant right so what what is going on like what is happening Where, where's the cancel culture because I, I, I thought that you guys were pretty invincible. And guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but I kind of thought that they were they were kind of like, you know, the, uh, what, what do you call it? like the Trump of the space, right? You could damn near say anything, do anything wild, and you just walk off on stage because you got a strong base. And YouTube ain't going to do shit because YouTube's paying you. And that was one of the biggest arguing points of some of their stands, right? Or not even just their stands, but people who are also balanced, like some of you guys in the chat too as well. Shout out to you, right? You guys are balanced. You said, well, you know what? Okay, fine. You know, they're, they're gonna, always going to be there. They're always going to survive because they have a strong 
loyal base in this uh, 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 in this in this uh, sphere. Okay, that's fine. I'll give you that. I will absolutely give you that W. But then it's like, okay, they're making money. They got a strong base. They get, they're, they're getting up there in terms of clout and popularity, right? They're they're reaching the stratosphere of clout. So why would you two stop them and and just like cold turkey? Not only their regular channel, but also it seems like their Eclipse channel has been affected by this too. So now there, there's some there's some things going on, right? So I'm 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 let's hear more. Let's hear more. I put the two episodes from the past two days on there. Um, because you know, obviously, who knows what Twitch? Twitch is really even more sensitive than YouTube. So check us out over there. Also, check us out on Spotify, Google, and our podcast. Every single platform you guys listen to podcasts, we are there. Just make sure we're headphones so you don't get <laughs> canceled in your own drop <laughs> listening to us. And also get the merch, right? <laughs> Freshpodcaststore.com, guys. You can get all the merch that Fresh never wears. Can you hoodies, <laughs> t-shirts, etc. Can you just me right now? Well, you're wearing camo, so we can see you. I'm oh. This is this is getting weird. This is really getting weird. I, I'm, I'm, I'm like legitimately kind of getting confused here because like him or hate him, if what, you know what, you know what, guys, who they got canceled. I think they got canceled, bro. Let, let's continue. <laughs> yeah, my man has like a whole bathing ape uh, pajama suit on. I don't know what that is. Listen, but, uh, <laughs> we got hoodies, man. Mine are in the wash. <laughs> Oh man. Okay. Like, anyway, uh, and then also we got another YouTube channel called Fresh Fit Clips. That's canceled too. So uh, yeah. I mean, you can say if you want. But we they got the clip channel too. Oh shit! Whoa, whoa, dog, dog. JD, super shout out to you. Maybe they got there the boxing match. I hope. I wish, but we see how that panned out when it, found, when it came to preach, right? Hey, we finally found preach, but <laughs> apparently y'all know where to be found, right? Especially on YouTube. We can't find y'all. <laughs> Shout out to you, Janie. <laughs> yo, they got the Clips channel, y'all. They got the Clips channel. I'm like, yo, what is happening? So what did they do? Like, what did they do or say that finally got YouTube to suspend them? Because, guys, this is this is actually kind of serious to know. I, I want to know, right? Did they, did they say something that was against guidelines? Were they mass reported, right? Because we know that, you know, their recent rise to mainstream wasn't as favorable, right? A lot of, they, they angered a lot of people. Right, they, 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 you know, 